गुड इवनिंग सर माय नेम इज़ रोहित रैना सर बेसिकली आई एम हिंदू एंड आई जस्ट रिसेंटली कन्वर्टेड टू इस्लाम एंड नॉट ओनली बिकॉज के आई एम इन लव विद मुस्लिम गर्ल नॉट ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ दैट प्रॉब्लम्स एंड ऑल दोज थिंग बिकॉज आई एक्सेप्ट इस्लाम फ्रॉम माई बॉटम ऑफ हार्ट एंड I tell you frankly, I don't know about Arabic. I don't know about Urdu from the very initially, and I don't know about the Sanskrit also, because I am from the Hindu background. Now I want to learn about Islam not only because ki I am going to be married a Muslim girl, and why the controversies are there so much in the nature that people are creating, not God is creating that controversy, and not God is not giving the message to people that do all those if. a non muslim marry a hindu muslim girl and if a non muslim hindu marry a muslim girl so why the controversies are there and if i accept islam then there is no problem in their family also so why there there must be a lot of uh, controversies so please explain me so that's the question that alhamdulillah accept islam recently and you are in love with a muslim girl but that was not the main reason he accepted islam at the bottom of the heart he says he doesn't understand arabic he doesn't know sanskrit whether it's not compulsory that you should know arabic to go to jannah it's not compulsory but uh, at present i am translating uh, english arabic whether as i said it's not compulsory for a person to know arabic as a language to go to jannah i said if you know arabic you can understand the quran the best if you don't know arabic read the quran in the language you understand the best if you know english Read the English translation of the Quran. If you know Hindi, read the Hindi translation of the Quran. What you have to do is minimum what is required for your salah. Salah is one of the important pillars of Islam. What is required for salah? That much at least you should memorize. Because when you worship Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala in your salah, you have to say in the original word. If you translate, the translation may be wrong. So besides this, knowing is not compulsory, but read the translation of the Quran in the language you understand the best. as far as the main question is concerned that why this controversy you have accepted islam so what the controversy as far as the muslims are concerned there is no controversy so i am not telling about the muslim controversy i am telling about the hindu hindu controversy, controversy. why why i am saying because the quran says in surah baqara chapter number 2 verse number 221 it says that do not marry an idol worshiper until he believes a believing man even if he is a bondsman even if he is a slave he is far better than an idol worshiper even if he allows you and the same is vice versa for the girl and for the boy the reason is that when if you have a vehicle and one tire is of the bicycle and the other of the truck how will the vehicle run but natural all the tires should be similar and but natural any good pious girl would want that the husband also goes to jannah go to paradise so if she has found the way to paradise that's acquire peace by submitting her will to almighty god that's what she may have requested you and that's the reason you accepted islam as far as the hindu the concern you have to show them my video cassette similarities between islam and hinduism what i tell them you know people talk about interfaith i tell them at least agree i tell the non muslims you know i don't believe in interfaith dialogue that islam is the same religion as hinduism as christianity all are same i don't agree with that i being a student of comparative religion i know the differences what i tell them at least agree that one book is 100% the word of god so the christian will say i don't mind agreeing that bible is 100% the word of god the hindu will say i don't mind believing veda to be the word of god the muslim will say i don't mind agreeing that quran is the word of god so i tell them that whatever is common in all the scriptures let us agree to follow 100% what is different what is contradictory we can discuss tomorrow at least what is common let us agree to follow 100% and when we read the scriptures all the scriptures say that there is only one god all the scriptures say almighty god has got no images he has got no idol he has got no statue so let us all of us agree to believe and worship one god who has got no image who has got no idol all the scriptures whether the vedas whether the bible whether the quran they say that the last and final messenger is prophet muhammad peace be upon him 
Even if you read the Bible, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, it's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, I have many things to say unto ye, but ye cannot bear them now. For he, when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself. All that here shall he speak. He shall show you things to come. Now here, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is telling that I have many things to say unto you, but you cannot grasp my message. He, when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. Talking about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The scriptures of all the major world religions, Hinduism, Christianity, Judaism, Islam, all of them say there's one God, you have to worship him alone, and the last and final messenger is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So if all the religious people read the scriptures, inshallah, this conflict would be solved, and all of them would acquire peace by submitting their will to Almighty God. Hope that answers the question. Yeah.